Does kind of look like we're going to get into pretty rugged terrain, though. But hey, we're a ranger. So if we have to hike, we have to hike. Never mind, we're going to have a mini bike and a bicycle in our backpack. It's, it just, don't question it, it's magic. It's just the way it goes. Welcome back, everybody, to 789 Alpha 21. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go uh, see if we can find that other trader, Bob, and do the opening trade routes thingy madoodle. Let's see here. I just uh, finished doing some mining overnight, and I took the I took the day off from recording, uh, day 19, it's 20, yeah. Off and I just went around and did a whole bunch of wrenching, primarily to get gasoline. But uh, you know we got a lot of, <clears throat> of other good stuff too. I also decided to go back to Trader Rect and buy his orange shotgun. So yeah, we've got the uh, we got the orange shotgun now, and I have. Uh, the tube extender mod on it, so we have a real shotgun now, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have a full stack of lock picks there. I'm going to take this nitrate up because uh, I have some coal that we'll use to. Um, we have uh, yeah, we have stone in here. Let's so let's turn this into cement um, to make more gunpowder. All right, so let's hop up here. Uh, we also got an airdrop, and I do know where it is, or at least the general vicinity, and we have a point. Uh, to do. Actually, we have two points, but it's going to go uh, straight up into agility. Okay, cool. So the professional athlete's going to take three points. Once we get that, then we will have an effective 10, and we can do all the rest of these guys. And um, I am probably will go ahead and actually eventually get an actual 10 so we don't have to keep uh, you know, wearing the glasses. Um, but for now, we'll just, uh, we'll keep working. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're going to grab, um, coal, coal, coal. Yeah, we've got a, a thousand coal in there. And while we're out and about, whoops, we're going to just put these in here to make gunpowder. So that'll get us another 540 some odd. Um, I have made... Uh, quite a few pipe bombs in preparation for the Horde Knight. Eventually we'll start making... Oh, I guess I forgot to empty that stuff out. Uh, eventually we'll start making grenades uh, because we now have the ability to do that. But um, right now I'm just doing pipe bombs because pipe bombs they're a lot less expensive. Uh, I can now also make level 2 leather armor. So... Uh, I think we're going to just go ahead and sell this. Man, yeah, I don't know. It sure would make a nice backup weapon. Yeah, maybe we won't. Let's keep it for now. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, I've got 40, 60, 73 pipe bombs. And uh, if we have time, we might make a few more. But that should be enough for the Horde Knight anyway. Um, And um, let's see what else. Don't... Oh, um... I, I'm having second thoughts about the machete. It definitely does more damage than the knife, but it's the attack speed on it is quite a bit slower. If we do like a little comparison here. So this is the attack speed of the knife. So I can really lay it on him with this, uh, whereas with the machete... So it's, you know, it's about maybe half the speed. And we're only getting another 10, you know, 10.3 normal damage and only 4.7 power attack damage. <clears throat> so because of all of those things, I think we're going to probably switch back to the knife. Um, Captain OG wants his... He wants his uh, K-Bar Tonto back. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can hear that on my mic. I'm, I'm running my air conditioner in the back. So 
Hopefully you can't, but if you can, it, it's just, it's a little bit warm in my office tonight, so that's what I got that running. So I haven't decided exactly what we'll do with that. Well, let's hang on to it for the moment. Uh, we could fix it up, put a mod on it, and sell it and make pretty decent bank. Um, this we might end up selling too, but as you can see, I'm starting to run out of space in my ammo and tools, so we might need to switch tools over to maybe that cabinet there. Uh, this is all stuff we're going to take and sell to wreck, so let's just grab that right now. Okay, that can go in there. Those things can go in there. Uh, I made some chili dogs and some blueberry pie. Why don't we pop a blueberry pie right now, and we'll take the chili dogs with us. I also made the scope, the 2x scope for the lever action rifle and I think that's it to update every, uh, update everybody on for the moment okay so let's head on over to the airdrop grab that and then we'll go direct sell this stuff uh, I don't remember when his inventory resets again and then we're gonna see if we can find or not well we know where the next trader bob is but it's, it's just a matter of finding a route to him so i'm planning on going cross country because there's obviously not a road a highway you know that we've found so far to get there all right i turned my ac off it was it was bothering me too much um okay so that airdrop should be pretty close in this vicinity i, I was in town wrenching cars when it came by and i it was pretty close um when i marked it so let me look here oops come here asshole okay let me look at the map for a second oh yeah we need to go we need to go out a little further but i don't anticipate we'll have any trouble finding it okay so we're at the x that i marked be very surprised if it was too much further than this area the damn fog sure doesn't help does it hmm Yeah, I just, that attack speed is, is too good to give up, even though the machete can do a little more damage. Hmm. I am really surprised I'm not seeing this. Maybe I'm just too far out. Let's go... Go back towards the X. I was pretty close, you know, in line with it. It's just a matter of, you know, the actual distance. Gauging that can sometimes be a little tricky. This is the right X. Yeah, airdrop. Oh, you know what? We we should probably we might want to look up in the trees too, because I think they can get caught in trees. And oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I was way off. <laughs> it was a lot closer than I gave it credit for. All right, let's put these on. Let's see what we get. Um. All right. Well, I mean, you know. It's the usual. It's fairly decent stuff, but nothing to write home to mother about. Pipe baton. Handguns quality four. Okay, so we can now craft a green level pistol. When we get to the point where we can craft a blue level pistol, we probably will do that. I was thinking about putting the pistol away and just using the SMG, but... Oops. 
the SMG is quite a bit louder, even with this, you know, the silencer on than the pistol is. So I think we're going to keep the pistol for those really sneaky sneak shots that we want to do. Smells like dysentery. Let's sell a couple things to Dickweed here. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to sell to him. Uh, restock on day 22. So he probably has reset. Maybe. No, I don't think he has because he still had this really nice blue tack rifle. But, I mean, I could, I could raise the money for it. But, I mean, I, no, I don't think I can now. It, I could have if I would have started doing it right from the get-go, but... Well, I mean, we still could. We still could raise that money. Um, we'd have to do a whole bunch of quests, a and sale I, is a sale. I could sell. Um, like you. I could sell my um, a bunch of those parts that I wrenched, but I don't think we're gonna do that. I mean, we'll eventually get a good tack rifle. Well, we already have a good tack rifle. It's just that that one's even better. Okay, so let's get on the road here and see if we can figure out a route to get to Trader Bob. Um, I have, this is as much gasoline as I have, which isn't a ton. Um, you know what we should do? Let's go grab the bicycle and take that with us too. So that way if we do run out of gas, you know, we'll just throw the mini bike over our shoulder, quote unquote. And uh, ride the bicycle back. Okay, so Trader Bob, or yeah, Trader Bob is that way. So we're just going to kind of head in that direction. And if we get into really rough terrain, we might have to pick up the mini bike and hike. But we'll see how things go. That's my mind, by the way. You know, something I was thinking, though, is there's there's some roads here, and these roads came off of a main road somewhere. So we maybe ought to go to that POI and follow that road out, see, see where it leads. Because it's reasonable to assume that it will eventually lead to a highway. Oh, for Pete's sake, you know what I did again? Damn it. I left my wrench, which means if we do need to get gas... We can't. Let me go back and get it. I'm glad I thought of it now before we got too much further away. I just need to keep that damn thing in my inventory all the time. Okay, we are at the road. And let's just follow it out and see where it leads. Hopefully it doesn't get into super gnarly terrain. But the roads are a lot better in the game now than they used to be. So even if they do go through bad terrain. They're still reasonably passable. See, it's even doing like a switchback. That's that's pretty good. They used to just like come to like a really steep hill and then just go straight up in the air, you know, kind of thing. Oh, this is... Oh, look at this! It led us to another ranger station. Okay. This is another Delta. Well, what do you know? Okay. Um, we will have to come here and fix it up at some point. Yeah, I love that that fast attack. Let's grab this fuel. You too? Yeah, let's 
let's grab this fuel. Check the pickup truck. So this is going to have to be uh, Charlie. Oh, that's right. There's a damn bird in here, isn't there? This is Charlie B. can make the anvil now but we already bought one okay so the floor will collapse I'm just since we're here we might as well get the fat loot uh, you know what I'm not jumping down there there's a bunch of Zeke's let's just open the door not going to spawn. All right. Make us go all the way in. Sure. Why don't you? Uh, what the hell? Oh, yeah. See, that's bullshit. Let me get a solid headshot off on him. are both dead right okay let's look at the fat loot Ooh, nice uh, let's put that on here no here no we already got one on there we got one on there here okay grab the meds grab the ammo the chamois crate. Tuna fish gravy toast and grandpa's awesome sauce. Fantastic. Uh, nah. Let's leave that stuff there. We'll take that. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, so what we'll do here is we will mark this. And this is RS Charlie B. And uh, so we have Firepost 61 and RS Charlie B that we will at some point have to come and repair and fix up. But we're not going to do that today. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, <coughs> yeah, I hate to do that, man, because this turn, this can turn into sham chowder. We're definitely getting rid of that. We're getting rid of that. These will scrap. Um, I think I'll chuck those too. Everything else. Yeah, let's get rid of the brass too, just because we have so much of it. And we'll keep the rest of this. Um... Yeah, we could use that to make a vehicle. So I think we'll hang on to it. All right, let's look at the map here. So we need to go back to to the fork and then turn right and, and start following that road out. Let's do it. Okay, we have a T in the road here, uh, but since we're trying to go that way, let's go right. It still might not be correct, but, oh, oh, this house. I love this house. We came across this place um, when I did the... experimental series and I was like 
had we continued the experimental series, I might have actually made my base here. We could we could try and cheese the loot. And we'll check these two vehicles too. We're not gonna do the whole house, of course. But yeah. Take all of that. I was gonna say there's another Zeke over here. Eat a bullet. Jiggly. Um no, not taking that. Feral. He's feral too. That's why he's taking so long to kill. There, got him. I can't quite get to Edgar's head, so we shoot Edgar in the butt. That's the rules. Okay, just in case I missed anybody, let's get this out. Um, oh, I guess we already have our luckies on. Check the fat loots. Um, that probably just scraps into iron. And it's not that good. However, the muffled mod thingamadoodles, those we like. That's improved fittings. Let's put those on. Oh, that's right. We can't put those on cloth because cloth's already silent. Can we put the fittings somewhere else, like here? No, we can't put fittings on either because fitting uh, because cloth doesn't slow you down. Hmm. All right. That gives us 2% mobility. I think I'd... I mean, we're already silent as death, so I think I'd prefer... mobility over... But we'll keep those. We're definitely going to keep those. All right. Let's check and see what's inside of these two. Tracks, a couple of wiring, and some parts we can sell. I think I'm going to leave that stuff there. Do we have a full stack of arrows? Well, here, we might as well have a full stack of arrows. Check in here. Nice. Let's take that right now for the healing more than the food. And I threw all my cloth out, didn't I? There's some books. We should go check those books. Oh, I'm jumping so high because of parkour. Handyman and seeds. We can now do goldenrod and chrysanthemum. Okay, let's get going. That was uh, definitely worth the, the stop there. Okay, here we go. This is definitely going in the right direction.
Oh, we got another ranger station. This is one of those ones that are that's up on the on the hill. All right, we're not gonna stop here, but I just want to look at this. This is Foxtrot. Okay, I just couldn't remember the the name of it. Okay, we got our work cut out for us, man. Okay, so we have another fork in the road here. But that looks that looks promising that way. Let's just Yeah, um let's just keep going in the direction towards the actual trader. We can then maybe investigate that little side road some other time. Okay, this leads to another one of those lodges. Uh, fire pit lodge. Okay, That'll, we'll deal with that on another day. You know, we do have that, fu uh, I think it's the fuel reserve tank mod that we found a long time ago, the schematic. So we should think about making that as soon as possible. Okay, we've got another fork in the road. That head, whoops, uh, heads back towards our place. But this is very, very rugged terrain, so who knows? It, I'm sure it just goes to a POI and then probably ends. Okay, so I believe we want to go this way. All right, we have another station of some sort here. Ranger Station Alpha. Look at the tower on that thing. Nice. Okay. Cool. Lots of stuff for us to do, man. I'm going to actually go in here and snag this fuel. Nice. What's up with all of that stuff? Dog, maybe? Wiring, robotic turret shells, and two trap crafting. Okay. I don't see any Zeeks. They're probably right inside there. But <clears throat> that's all I want to do right now. Let's get out of here. This is House on the Hill. But... 
The road stops here. Hmm. That could be an issue. Uh, diamond tipped weapons. Nice. Okay, let's assess. That road could lead to a highway. All right, let's go back to this this uh, road over here and see if it leads to a highway. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it will, but I guess I'm not 100% positive. Okay, we have some another station of some sort, and the road ends. Oh my goodness! I always thought these roads led to a highway somewhere. What is this? This is Fort Chapa. That's quite the place there, man. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's use this one. We'll use the log cabin icon for ranger stations and the fort icon for actual army forts. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I mean, it's theoretically possible that this, if we went back here, that that le would lead to a highway. Because if I remember right, there was a highway going this direction. I just don't know where it ultimately ended up. Hmm. The other thing we could do is just go cross country from here. And then once we get there, then we follow this highway and see if somehow or another it intersects maybe with Firepost 61 or comes back around here. I think we'll do that because otherwise we're going to be doing a lot of backtracking. Um, let's put fuel in here. Okay, so we were actually able to fill that up. I'm actually going to check the brass there. Let's eat this to free up a slot. And we'll drink a, a red tea. Okay, let's, let's go back to the right house. See if we can just do a little bit of cross country right here. Does kind of look like we're going to get into pretty rugged terrain, though. But hey, we're a ranger, so if we have to hike, we have to hike. Never mind, we're going to have a mini bike and a bicycle in our backpack. It's it just don't question it. It's magic. It's just the way it goes. Okay, we have a little bit of a draw that we can travel through here. If there is truly not a road going through here, we might even make a road, um, you know, going this route here. Because so far, it's not terrible. It's bumpy, but doable. Oh, boy. Now it's getting a little interesting. Woo! Okay. Still feasible, though. We'd have to cut through that. Come on, you can do it, dude. I can't, um, I can't get out and pick the mini bike up, actually, because we got all that stuff in the back. Forgot about that. But we just made it. Okay. Let's be careful up here. Oh, I thought that was a backpack. Alright, so there's a desert down that way. The desert's going to be 
easier tra to traverse. Boy, building a road across here would be a pretty significant undertaking. See, there's that... Oh, maybe that highway only goes to that town. I remember coming through here on foot in our first couple of episodes. Still really rough through here. Yeah. Yeah, that highway doesn't... Hmm. Okay. It doesn't go through. There's going to be another trader in this desert town, though. We should go discover them. Okay. <coughs> well... Um, I'm going to have to think about if it's going to be worth it for us to, to make our own highway. Um, and you know, not, it doesn't even have to be a highway, but just a, enough of a trail for us to get, eventually get a four by four through. The first part of that journey wasn't terrible, but the second part was pretty bad. <laughs> Another option is we could potentially tunnel, uh, you know, just create a huge tunnel through the mountain too. We get a lot of resources and a lot of XP doing that. All right, we made it to Trader Bob. And he'll have uh, some gasoline for us to... He doesn't have a lot, but he'll have a little bit for us to loot. So let's go through and loot his stuff first, and then we'll go say hi to him. Okay. Gratitude, friend. We finished that. Let's take a look at his inventory. And we're gonna sell those. Those. Gratitude and safe travels, friend. Scrap that. So that that. Um I think we need to make a bandage because we have an aloe cream. So that that I want to keep the blue dye off of this. Let's put that on our shotgun. OK, 
Okay, I think that's all I want to sell to him. Oh, he's got a mini bike too. <laughs> Probably all the bobs do. Oh, let's get this bellows. We're going to buy that from him. <clears throat> and... Let's see what else he has. He's got a crucible. Oh, man. Um... 15,000. These are ultra rare. I don't think... I don't think we can raise enough money. Well, okay. Let's think about this. Yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll restock after Horde Night, so... We won't be able to get that. Nah, that's too bad. Well, it'll come up available again, hopefully. But, uh, there's... I just don't see how we'd be able to get that right now. None of these guys have military armor. I've, well, we probably need to put it's more points into pleasure. Daring Adventure or something like that there. to start seeing that kind of stuff. Uh, all right, let's buy that. Let's buy that too. All right, so it is. Uh, it's almost. 6 p.m. Did we grab this gas? No, we didn't. I had some other spoiled meat that I threw in here. Let's just take that with us. What we could do is see if we can go cheese the loot out of this passing gas and check the cars. The thing is, those we've we got to get back because we got to get the horde base ready for horde night. And I'm not even sure where the end loot is in this place. I haven't, I haven't fully looted this place. I, I, I kind of started looting it, but I never did the whole thing. Thanks, Arlene. Ooh, nice stuff. So let's let's check the vehicles, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll. Um, we'll cruise up onto the roof and see if we can figure out where the loot is. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, man. I'll take it. Wow. That was nice. Can we go in here? We just got ourselves a purple wrench, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely take that. Nothing else in here. Get water out of that. I thought there was a some zombos in and amongst these vehicles, but Seeing them. Um, there is a um, there is a a fountain machine thingy inside that we could go grab real quick. And here's a duffel bag. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to actually scrap, or, or not scrap, but leave that stuff behind because we're on the road and we can't uh, afford to loot everything or keep everything. taking any of that stuff. No siree Bob. Taking all of that stuff, though. Alright, let's go check this semi-truck. Yeah. 
Where are you going, Steve? No, oh, I'm a waste of time. We should have enough gasoline to, to get back home without too much trouble. Okay, let's pop in here and grab that juice machine. There's going to be a couple zombies behind the counter, but we aggro them, we kill them. I yeah, just got water. I was hoping for a mega crush, but that's all right. Um, I kind of like that coffee. Why don't we drink this? We'll take the coffee. There's not usually a whole lot to loot in there. Don't care about that stuff. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not sure where the fat loots are in this place. And we are running out of daylight. I think they're in here, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think they're in here. How strong is this? 15,000. It's only 1,200. Yeah, there's, there's a loot right there. There are going to be some enemies in here, though. Can we just reach this from here? We have room in our mini bike. You know what? There's gas in here too. We should probably go in here. I see a couple of zombs up on the ledge up there. Nice. Um, all right. Let's come back. Oh. Let's go get our bike and Offload a couple things. Did we check this? We did not. Yeah, I kind of like those, but again, we're in travel mode, so we're going to leave him. All right. Oh yeah, that gave us lots of room. We'll throw those in there and that, sh that should give us enough to get everything we need. Okay, let's grab that, break this. Got the attention of someone out here. Go away. Let's get rid of this so we have a nice clear shot, even though I can reach them guys from here. But um, I'm going to take this. That other stuff is very easy for us to make now. What's this? Uh, repair tools. And this is vehicles. Uh, let's check that too. Okay, let's see if we can dispatch these guys. They've been dispatched. Got the weapons bag. Oh, nice. I just made that one of those, too. <laughs> it's all right. It's good to have two. Ammo pile. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is harvesting tools and some oil. Iron tools, quality three. I'm gonna leave that cement. Okay, we can open the door for a quick getaway. And I love the 
this stealth build, you guys. It's so fun. And we, we still haven't maxed it out yet either. Wait till we max this sucker out. But the enemies are going to get harder too, though, so... Some gasoline down there. And I heard another zombo somewhere. Can we reach that? Huh. Nope. medical pile here. Toilet pistol. We're just going to scrap it for the parts. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, other than we did get both of these, right? We could check and see if this engine has a um, uh, well, yeah, if this motor has an engine. Short iron pipe, mechanical parts. I'd rather have mechanical parts than iron. Look at that. Little secret compartment there with pistol parts. Look at that. All right. Okay, I think that's it. We are finished. Except for, looks like we might have a secret here. Oh, we're wasting time. Nope, I guess that's just a vent. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up uh, this episode here, and I'm going to make my way back to the base. We should have plenty of fuel to do that. Look how high that mountain is. And, yeah, I'm going to just have to figure out how we're going to handle getting over here. There's... A decent chance, we'll say, that I'll actually build a road. And when when we get to that really nasty mountainous terrain, it'll probably end up being a tunnel. Because it's very difficult in this game to make, if not impossible, to make smooth slopes. You know, for roads and things like that. Unless they've changed that in some way. But, yeah, shit, we, <laughs> we got to get up through there somehow. Oh, man. And we can't pick up the mini bike because it's loaded. Oh, right. Let's, uh, let's actually run over to this. You know what I might end up doing, actually? I might just spend the night in this town, just hunker down on a roof. Uh, because I don't, I don't want to make that trip back in the dark. That would be absolutely nutso to do that. Oh, there's a road. You know what? I think I know where that road goes, but that'll get us up a little ways. Um, so let's go find the trader. Before I let you guys go, let's go find the trader in this town. So at least we know where they are. We might even have enough time to go in and say hi and check their, their stock. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably just hunker down, spend the night here, and then head back in the morning. And we've got to get the horde base ready for tomorrow. Ball strike bowling. That is a POI I've never been in. I don't know if that's new to 21 or if I just, you know, I, I'm not, I can't say that I got to every single POI in Alpha 20. So, yeah, I don't know. 
It'd be nice to find a trader Joel, because then we've, we will we'll have found all the traders. And I think he's the armor guy, too, isn't he? That would be good, because he'd have a greater chance, I think, of having um, military armor, I would, I would think. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, it's Hugh. All right. Well, Hugh's not bad either. He's the he's the weapons guy. Can we scooch through here? Yeah, I'll take Hugh also. Oh no, this is Joel. Oh, okay. They both. I guess they both have a kind of a palisade. Uh, you know what? We better not actually park this in here. Get out on the street. All right, let's just go say hi to him really quick and check his inventory. Anything you like? Assault rifles, knife guy. Uh, those are lootable. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. He's got a nice leather armor chest piece. We don't actually have enough money to afford that. But it's actually really good that we found him because, like I said, we can come here. Oh, nice. Those are really nice weapons, too. Okay. Oh, my apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you're looking for. Okay, I got to get out of here before it spits me out. Any Now, let's go. <laughs> before it spits me out like on the other side there all right well it was good that we found this guy for sure and so yeah i think the plan is what is that up there it's not another trader is it let's just run up there real quick but i'm going to spend the night in this town in the morning i'm going to head back and uh, we got to get the, the horde base ready. And then we'll go from there. Um, any chance that this highway would lead? Oh, you know, that's another thought, actually. If this highway... led to the other side of the those mountains there, it might be easier for... Oh, that's just the lumber mill, okay. It might be easier for us to go that route. Uh, it's it's more roundabout, but we wouldn't have to go over those gnarly mountains. I'm, I'm going to follow this highway and just see where it goes. Now, you know what, though? If it's going to be going north... Oh, yeah, there's the snow border. Well, you know what? What the hell? Let's just follow it and see where it goes. Well, I'm going to follow it and see where it goes. But we need to wrap up this episode. Um, we've actually gone really long. There, the time goes by so fast. Okay. These are all normals. Just have their feral sense enabled. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, we can take that stuff to sell it. Do we have anything we can put in here? A couple things. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess, the, yeah, the game marks the traders for you now, which is actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to follow this road and kind of see where it goes and see if it could potentially intersect back with the, the uh, with Trader Jin. And if it does, I think this is a, a better option for us, at least until I, you know, I build the road through the mountains, assuming I even do that at all. I haven't decided because that's going to be a hell of a lot of work, but it would be worthwhile to do because of the resources and the XP we would get doing it. So I'm just going to have to give that some thought. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.